Welcome to the Dozer and Sugar Mama Show, and I'd like to talk to you about diabetes. All right, the whistle's going off. That means we got to get our stuff together here. We're making French press coffee today, and... That whistle means we gotta get going, so. It's the holiday season. Let's turn this down. So it's a hazel nut. I thought it'd be a little more Christmassy. Plus, Sugar Mama likes that a lot, so we try to accommodate it. I don't know what the exact amounts are. I put as much as possible that'll fit in here for both of us. Keep it a little coarse, of course. Everyone knows, of course. Okay. French press coffee is a lot like cowboy coffee. For people that don't know about French press, but know about cowboy coffee, it's very much the same thing. Except we got a little filter. I'm going to get the French press out right now. But I had to go outside and grab this because I was thinking about doing an outdoorsy thing. We might go outside after this. Take a little drink out in the cold mountain air. But uh, this is our French press. And I suggest that you get, you know, a well-made one if you plan on eating it or drinking it on regular. This one's a sharper image, but I got this at Marshall's or Ross or second, you know, discount store. Because these are can get expensive. But if you buy a cheap one, they break so easy. These parts break so easy if you use them every day. Plus you're heating up this glass and cooling it off and heating it up. Plus I like my coffee a little colder and Sugar Mom likes it hot, so... But uh, see these pieces that come apart right here? If you don't have something that's really good, it, th this strips. These threads strip real easy. And uh, when you're cleaning it, you have to take it apart a bunch of times. But anyway, so we keep this kind of coarse that for the folks at home. Because you don't want a bunch of flakes coming through. And this has got a little screen on here keep that from going through. So what we do is we take that, get our hot water. Sugar Mama says you're not supposed to heat the water up a whole bunch of times. But uh, it's over, it's ready to go, so it's whistling now. Whistling. And for the amount of coffee I put in there, I like to take it right here. It's going to be different for everybody. So I'm not even going to tell anybody measurements but I fill it up right to the line. I like this one, this model, because we keep breaking these things all the time, but this one has a little cover on the outside. So uh, last time, uh, the last time it broke, it wasn't even me, it was Sugar Mama, so I was happy about that, because it's so easy to break. She's like, why does these things keep breaking? Now you know. But you, you heat this glass up a bunch of times, and then you just barely tap it against something. That's why you should not use a metal uh, instrument like I'm doing now. Do not do what I do. Do what I say. So I like to mix that up because all of the uh, coffee grounds will come to the top. And then if you give that a minute or two and then stir it again. I'm going to stir it right now because it gets really thick up there. If you've ever had cowboy coffee or French press coffee, it's it's just stronger, it's just better coffee. 
So I cover that up and then I set my timer. They say five minutes, I say, you know, six or more. It'll get a little bit more, you know, rich flavor. But you don't want to burn it either. It'll get bitter if you leave it too long. So five to six minutes, I say, is, is good. Let me take this, put this away while that sets there. Get our coffee mugs. I'll just come get that right now. Oh, Brad, I was just giving Sugar Mom some pointers on some editing that she was doing. But this is Sugar Mom's coffee from yesterday. What I usually do is... Oh, well, she finished her coffee. Look at that. It's good stuff. But see all that on the bottom? In cowboy coffee, that'll all settle into a bunch of disgusting flakes that you drink, but with a French press, you can filter all that out, so that's something I like about it. It's totally worth it. Even if I'm camping, which Sugar Mama and I do a lot, and you'll see later, we camp a lot, so instead of cowboy coffee, which is easy to do on the campfire, just put a filter on that thing. Also, we are, you know, not always, because these things break all the time, and sometimes we gotta make do. And they're expensive, so we just get a regular filter or like a, a colander. Let's see what we got. That's what, that's what we're doing. Times are hard. We'll just uh, we'll put this into a jar or some type of a, a big container that we can uh, put the coffee in, and then we'll just like filter it out through this. And you get still chunks because there's some big holes in that screen if you can see. It's not going to focus, but you know what I'm saying. That's why you don't want to ground the coffee bean too small. If you buy pre-ground coffee, it just falls right through there. You don't want to do that. Plus, it's not as good. As, you got to get a whole bean and, uh, and ground it. And uh, then you can use this if you need to. One times is tough. But we got it on lock right now, so we don't need it. As far as this goes, I'm going to wash this out. I get up early and go to work, and I make sugar mama coffee every morning when I make my coffee. And it's cold by the time she gets it, but, you know, that's how it is. All right. I actually prefer my coffee colder anyway. And uh, if you notice from the other mukbangs, I do have a lactose intolerancy. But I can handle a certain amount. I, uh, it's weird. It's like if it's heated up a little bit, it helps me digest it. I don't know. So I'll put the same cream in my coffee, which I'll show you. This is the Coffee Mates Natural Bliss Nestle Corporation. They make a damn good creamer, and I give them that. Uh, this Natural Bliss is my favorite by far. It's just like, it's just cream with sugar in it. Actually, now that I'm saying it, we, should, we could be making this. We could just take regular cream and add our own sugar. And 22 seconds left, and then we will plunge this guy right here all the way down and it just smashes all the grounds down and it is a delicious coffee that you just don't get with also Keurig come on come on Keurig it's just like I don't want to be you know you're running it through plastic it's weak she's weak but I'm just gonna, I digress. <laughs> okay, so that's been six minutes. What we wanna do is plunge this guy right here. Mm -hmm. Just do it slowly. People like push it really fast. They think they're like cool or something. I don't know what the deal is, but you push it slow. If you push it fast, you're gonna get those grounds coming up on the sides and that defeats the purpose of having a filter on there. So you waited all this time to make the coffee. Why are you gonna 
brush it and screw it up. The problem with this guy here is see this you have to spin this around when I brew this I keep it see where this uh, spout is you got to keep that turned over so the heat doesn't escape but then when it's time to get it pour on you got to move it over and this right here the just the power of the coffee the caffeine everything is going to be a lot more intense so if you like weak coffee don't put the amount of coffee beans that I'd be putting in. But I didn't even used to like coffee. I didn't used to like a lot of things until Sugar Mama showed me. So she's very important to showing me pretty much all the culinary skills that I've had. But I want to show you this because that's a pretty decent cup of coffee right there. And uh, it does take extra time. And if you're busy in the morning, people don't want to do that. They just want to throw the cup in the Keurig and get out the door. And sometimes I have to do that too. We have a Keurig. I, I ain't saying we don't. But it's like an emergency item. That's not what I try to do. If you just wake up a few minutes early, you can have coffee that will just blow your mind and then when you drink other coffee you're just like what is this garbage garbage I'm telling you okay and sugar mama doesn't like her stuff actually she mixes as you know so I'm using the back of a fork I don't know why I'm doing this alright there we go Stir that up for sugar mama. I don't know what mama, sugar mama's listening to. I, if you hear that techno music in the background, that's not our music. That's our movie music. And you actually have to taste it. It's like being a chef. If you don't taste it you and you just start assuming every batch if you add a few more beans a few more time everything is different like this is strong she likes it stronger than I do I like mine a little sweeter but you can look at the color sometimes and you can tell how sweet it is by the color sometimes you can't man she is gonna like it today this is good stuff right here and I'll tune in with you here in a second and I'll be uh, enjoying my coffee outside. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Dozer and Sugar Mama show and I'd like to talk to you about diabetes. Actually, we're here to talk about Quaker Oats coffee. No. Hey everybody, welcome to the Sugar Mama show. We're here talking about our French press coffee. And uh, you don't have to live in the mountains to enjoy a good cup of coffee. But I tell you, it helps. <sighs> Stay tuned. Well, it's time to make Sugar Mama our breakfast. <laughs> 